hello welcome to our video tutorial uh, in this video to series uh, we're going to see a uh, couple of uh, topics uh, which are uh, how to manage multiple forms we're going to have three uh, forms so we'll see how to navigate between those three forms and also how to manage form behaviors like closing button, minimizing uh, button, and some other uh, properties of a form. So we are going to see how to manage those properties. So this will be a two video series. So in the, this is the first video. So in this first video, we'll create a project and we'll create three forms inside it and see how to navigate between from one form to another and how to make our form or the one of the three forms as a main form so that uh, two forms are uh, being opened inside our main form so without further ado let's uh, let's see it practically so let's create new project java fx in swing of course so our project will be form navigation finish okay so this will create an empty project so our first form has to be j internal form which is going to be the main form uh, sorry it has to be j frame form which is the main form so inside j frame form we will create j internal frames uh, if you have j frame here that's fine click here otherwise if j frame is not in here in this list in your uh, in your computer then click others and go to swing gui forms there you will get j frame form if you want to create j internal frame we can use this we'll use uh, j internal frame in the next so right now i will create j frame form next and in here this is the main form so uh, its class name uh, has to be main form so this will give a uh, this will give us an empty form it's going to hold a panel to show the other two forms we are about to create so let's create one more form right click on default package then j internal frame if it's not available here as i said previously click others swing gui forms then j internal frame so here uh, let's make it first form finish so this is our form let's create another one same as j internal frame its name has to uh, its name is going to be second form finish so i have two j frames now what i need to do is what i want is let's uh, run our application so it's it's going to start from main form Two other forms are internal frames, so they are not going to be a startup. So let's see. This is our project. This is our main form. So in this main form, I want to have two buttons that are going to open two of my internal frames. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to access those forms. So what we can do is put two buttons in here okay so its name is btn open form one this is going to open form one and this one is btn open form 2 or second form so this is its text box open form 1 and 
its text box is going to be open form 2. Now I have to have another container being added to this form because those internal frames are going to be displayed inside the container. So which container I should use? I can use desktop pane. So I'll drag a desktop pane control container here. Try to make it a little bigger. Okay, now we need to give it a name. So right click on it, change variable name, I desktop pane, just call it container, form container. Of course, it's going to contain our two forms, our two internal forms. Now, when open form button is going to be clicked, so let's go to his mouse clicked event. Here, what we are going to do is create an instance of first form. First, first form, frm new first form. So an empty variable is created, and then I'm going to add it to the container. So container dot sorry form container. Form container means the name of the desktop pen. So container form container dot add and frm is being added to the container now. All I have to do is frm dot set visible true. Now it's going to uh, it's going to show my first form. Let's do this code for the second button as well and then we can test so here what i'm going to do is second for fra so this will create an empty form so i'll put that form inside form container i'll add it after adding this just frm dot set visible true let's test okay so this is our project click on open form one there you go this is our first form click open form two there you go this is our second form okay so this is how we are going to manage multiple forms uh okay so uh this is what we are going to show in this first uh, series in this first video of a series uh so in the second video we are going to see how to uh, add minimize and close button for each internal forms and also how to add title for our forms okay so that's all for now. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to our channel for future videos. Also, please, try, please write your comment about the video below in the uh, comment section. Thank you very much.